everyone, it's Forrest here, and we're so close to 1k, it's crazy. Thank you all so much for helping me get this far. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to cast fursuit parts out of resin. This tutorial will be showing you how to make a nose using the slush casting method. Slush casting is great for noses because it makes them hollow and very lightweight. People use the same method to make resin head bases as well. I haven't seen very many tutorials on slush casting, so I thought I'd make one showing my process. The resin type I use for this is called Smoothcast 300 by Smoothon Incorporated. I use it because it is very fast curing. It starts the curing process in about 2 minutes of mixing part A and B together. Now without further ado, let's just start the video and I will show you my process. The things that you are going to need are your resin. This is, again, the kind I've used. Now, be extra careful when using it because it is toxic chemicals and you should wear a respirator. Don't be like me and not wear one. You will need mixing cups. This is optional, but you can use pigments too. And of course, you will need something to mix with. In this case, I use jumbo popsicle sticks. Okay, so here is me starting the process. I have two cups, and since the resins I use are have a part A and B, the ratio is basically equal parts of both A and B, and you mix them together. Now with slush casting, you don't want to pour too much in. You are only, depending on the size of the mold, you are only going to pour um, like about, I pour in like three, four, like one third of the way full. Here I mixed uh, two parts together and now I'm adding the pigments and stirring it all in. Now be sure to stir very, very thoroughly. I'm telling you, stir it thoroughly. Otherwise it will separate and it'll look weird. Right there I made way too much, so I'm dumping some of it back out. And me being an idiot and not actually bringing a paper towel out. And now what I'm doing is I'm literally just taking the resin and like swirling it around in the mold. I'm taking the resin and basically swirling it around in the mold and that right there is why you call it slush casting. If you're making a resin base with it, uh, you will need to fill it a lot full, more, full, more full than I am uh, making it there. So yeah. You can just watch this part for a bit. As you can see, the resin's flow is starting to slow down. When it starts to flow less, less um, fast and more like lava or something in a way, uh, that means that you that means that the resin is starting to cure. And you want it that way. So once the resin is like pretty much not movable anymore, you just let that sit for like uh, an extra eight to 12 minutes because the full cure time is, the full cure time is about uh, 15 minutes I found, which is pretty quick for resins. And as you can see, the flow has literally stopped, so like it's not flowing out the side anymore. And basically, now what I'm doing is I am about to put in like another little layer. Uh, and basically, what you do is you basically just continue making layers doing the same thing. You basically just uh, continue making layers using the same method until it's thick enough that it won't like break. Now what I'm doing here, since I don't want to waste another cup, um, I'm using one of the same cups and mixing it in the exact same cup I put the both parts in in the first layer. Now that there is about the amount that you would want to put in if you have a nose the same size as mine.
But as you can see, I am basically just doing the same method and stuff. With red, I've found is if you aren't very used to pigments like I am, I'm you. It's really hard to get like a true red. Usually, like I don't usually add pigments when it comes uh, when it comes to resin casting. I usually paint the nose and seal it rather than or put fleece or felt over the top of it rather than um, rather than adding pigments and stuff. So here I'm being a little bit impatient and trying to like pop it out of the mold when it I'm gonna shouldn't be. So now here is the finished product. It looks like that when it's in the mold, but uh, basically you just pop it out if it's very thin like the noses are, you want to pop it out pretty carefully and just me being an idiot, I didn't adjust the camera so you could actually see what I was doing. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, basically when you pop it out of the mold, you want to be really really careful. And since I'm not very used to pigments, I got a little bit of a color mixing spot and I might sell this nose on my Etsy as a, as, um, as um, a miscast or whatever. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!